Yes, yes, my people. Just when we thought 2020 was almost done, dusted, COVID locking us down, big boy pops up with a W. <laughs> we winning, baby. Yes, yes, my people, it's me. Welcome to another video. Big Prozy in the building. And we've got, I, I don't know if you can tell, I'm a little excited. I should calm down a little bit. I can't calm down. You know what we do here? We talk all things sneakers, kicks, and creps. Today, we've got a very, very special day. I know you can tell from the title and I know you can tell from my intro, but I'm gonna say it one more time. We are talking about the Off-White and Jordan Brand 5 in the cell colorway. Now we're gonna get into this a little bit later, but before we do, we're gonna talk about the shoe itself. We're gonna talk about the origins of the shoe. We're gonna talk about the fit and feet. We're gonna talk about the price. And if that sounds like content you'd like, why don't you go ahead and smash 250 likes for your boy show some support hit that notification bell that subscribe get up all in the comments let me know what you're thinking let me know what you're feeling let me know that you care all right now with no further ado can we enter this video i will see you man inside Now, Off-White and Jordan Brand have actually collaborated on a number of Jordan silhouettes, but the first Jordan 5 they actually collaborated on was the black version that came out earlier this year. This particular version of the shoe in the cell colorway was released on October 29th, 2020. So I managed to pick mine up for £189.99. Yes, I managed to get them bad boys for retail. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I'll get into that a little bit later. Okay, so we're gonna get into a little bit of the backstory behind not only this particular shoe, but obviously the collaboration and the partnership between Off-White and Nike. And at the center of that, obviously, is one name, Mr. Virgil Abloh. Now, Virgil Abloh is a name you've probably heard before. He is the uh, is the CEO of Off-White and uh, obviously the originator. And he's also the current creative director at Louis Vuitton. Big things are gone. <laughs> the relationship with Nike started in 2017 uh, with the now infamous the 10. Now the 10 was a collection of deconstructed, reimagined Nike, Jordan brand and Converse silhouettes. Um, Jordan 5 first came out in black and prior to that release, there actually were pictures that surfaced on the net of the cell colorway. Um, now there were people that were taking X-Acto knives and scalpels and, and cutting out the holes. I don't know the reason why you would do that on a pair of kicks. Actually, I do know the reason, clicks and clout. But either way, um, that particular colorway didn't come out until recently. And that's when your boy stepped up and took that W. And as I may have mentioned, maybe once or twice, there's no real story, nothing to see here. Just one on the sneakers app, October 29th. Remember it like it was yesterday. And lo and behold, Went for the the went for the trainers, 
and within 10 minutes, I got an email saying, got him, ha <laughs> ha, got him. And anybody that receives that email, that text, that message, do you know what, I mean, you know what it does. It straight away, endorphins and, and adrenaline just pumping through your veins. Oh God, this is what we do, man. It's like we're begging. <laughs> Am I a beggar? I gave you money. And every time I'm going to... Do you know what? I promise you. I promise you. Before the end of 2020, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to let you know. Yeah, I'm shouting about this W now. But the reason I'm shouting about this W now is because I took a million L's in 2020. Right? And I'm not talking about COVID. I'm talking about literal sneakers app. L after L after L. Like la 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 fam L's yeah sorry so October was a pretty sweet month for your boy you know it was a pretty sweet month for your boy now if you follow me on social media that's at Prozac on Instagram and on Twitter follow me man so earlier this month I posted that I managed to pick up the um, off-white and like rubber dunks in the University Blue I actually managed to pick them up from sneakers and stuff S&S and, &S, and uh, just like just I mean although they weren't particularly my bag they weren't particularly uh, interesting to me um, you know I always give choose a chance man I like to get them in hand and see but uh, ultimately when I got them in hand I had a look they weren't really for me but just because they weren't for me doesn't mean they weren't for you and they were for a lot of people and just like Nicolas Cage them bad boys were gone in 60 seconds real talk yeah and thank you to whoever bought those shoes because you helped a lot I've got a question you know that social interaction it's really really important to me is anybody there <laughs> 2020 What's been your favorite off-white collaboration of this year? Let me know in the comments below. So guys, we're gonna start looking at the box. Um, we're gonna take a closer look at the shoe just in a minute, but yeah, this is the box it comes in. So this is a pretty standard, uh, I can say that now that I've had a couple of pairs. <laughs> um, it's a pretty standard <laughs> um, off-white uh, night collaboration box they've got similar style so obviously the the main difference between this particular one and the university blue rubber dunks is i think uh, obviously didn't have a massive jump man it was a night collaboration as opposed to a jordan collaboration and that hence makes the difference but you will see these sort of holes feature a lot on off-white collaborations there are holes with a, some kind of plastic perspex material sort of just giving you a little window into the sole of the shoe window into the outsole of the shoe hey that was funny <laughs> here it is once again you can see full front there all the way to the back you see the heel there with the Nike logo, medial side there. You can see what's going on. Now let's go from top to bottom. You've got this reflective tongue with a red jump man, um, fully reflective. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can tell. Um, but yeah, you got you're gonna be shining, my guy. You're gonna be shining. Um, after that, you've got these laces, and obviously with these laces, you're gonna get yeah signature off-white flex you do actually get a pair of red laces and a pair of black laces so no expense spared you've also got this sort of um off-white and red toggle thing for you to um tighten and loosen your uh your laces as well obviously the uh the iconic um safety tab and on that safety tab it actually says i don't know if you can pick it up on the screen but it actually says off-white care of Nike circa 2020 the zip tie now throughout the the, the upper essentially you're looking at a lot of synthetic material covered in muslin um, which is really really interesting and obviously there are holes that you could if um, you so wished cut out um, I suppose for ventilation or whatever I don't know um, as I said earlier I think it'd probably be for another reason but that's 
between you and uh, your shoes. Uh, in regards to its shape, it's a Jordan 5. The, the main difference for me is, is, is this muslin that is literally all over the surface and the upper of the shoe. Um, like take the, the, the heel tab for, for instance, you can see here, obviously on this side, you've got the 23, but that 23 is covered in muslin. So you could essentially, if you wanted to cut this muslin piece out and it would reveal the 23 and obviously a lot more vibrant color uh, in red. It also revealed this Nike um, Air logo sort of the classic Nike Air logo at the back. Um, right here, you've got the, the the sort of Oregon Beaverton, Nike, all of that jazz there. You've also got a corresponding hole on the other side. Um, so yeah, I think the interesting thing with this shoe is it seems to sort of encourage creativity. It just seems to encourage you to, you know what, everyone, like all of the people out there that are really, really creative, that have managed to get their hands on these shoes, there are gonna be people cutting these shoes up, ripping pieces off and just doing whatever. And it's gonna kind of make everyone's shoe individual and interesting and different, um, which is maybe what they were trying to go for. After that, you've got a pretty standard um, midsole. Obviously on this side, um, you've got the, this shoe was inspired, Tinker Hatfield designed this shoe and inspired by fighter jets. So you've got some sort of fight, fighter jet, sort of flame sort of decal on the, on the, um, on the midsole. This midsole, it houses a, a standard um, Air Jordan air unit. So a little bit of comfort. Um, you've got a little bit of translucent. You can see it's a little bit translucent. Um, and when you go to the outsole, you can see it's sort of a dark translucent gray here, more of a gum material here, and at the heel more of a gum material, but this gray encases the Nike logo and uh, the gum encases the Jumpman. All in all, a pretty uh, interesting shoe, I would say. Um, let's see what it looks like on feet. I'm a standard UK 12, as I mentioned, uh, US 13. I got these in a UK 12. Um, and I would say for the most part, they're true to size. Um, if you're buying a pair of Jordans, you probably would have bought Jordans. Jordans have been readily available for years now. Um, yeah, just not just buy your normal size. Um, that's a great place to start. Um, for some people, depending on the width of your feet and, and that sort of thing, you may decide to go a size, half a size up, half a size down, but pretty generally, they're, they're pretty on the nose when it comes to sizing for me. And I'm only talking for me, so obviously do what you wanna do. Um, but from a comfort perspective, Jordans in general are just not that comfortable to me. And obviously there's a number of factors that play into the reasons why that is. I've got a big foot, I've got a wide foot, um, and I'm a big guy. So obviously I tend to uh, focus more on comfort. For me, comfort is king. And um, these are just not as comfortable as I would like. Um, that doesn't mean that I don't appreciate the aesthetic nature of the shoe. And Jordans in general, as I mentioned, I kind of feel Jordans in general are not that comfortable. And, and um, I recently did a video on my Jordan 11s, which I love. They're probably my favorite shoes that I own. Um, they're not that comfortable also, but I think for me, in order for me to own a pair of shoes, I've got to just either love them in order to sort of fight through the pain or 
sort of appreciate the, the design technology or the comfort and uh, like a particular aspect or function of the shoe and I think for me these although as I said very aesthetically pleasing um, and they definitely get your creative juices flowing you start thinking you know there's different ways and different things I could do to this shoe and you certainly appreciate the design that went into it for me it's just not a shoe I'm totally in love with um, and that's probably the reason why um, I'm not going to be holding on to them um, now the shoe is a hype shoe and we know hype shoes tend to go for a lot of money um but for me although it's hype shoe it's an off-white and jordan collaboration it's not necessarily one of my favorite jordan silhouettes i'm a jordan 111 guy i like the 11s and i like the ones um threes and fours have a good place in my heart as well but um the five just isn't really doing it for me and maybe that's just because i haven't found a colorway that really really gets me excited um but for the most part, it's just not one that I'm feeling totally. Now, price-wise, um, like I mentioned at the top of the video, this is £189.99, so basically 5p off uh, uh, £190. Now, um, that's expensive. That's expensive for any shoe. Uh, uh, obviously, we're not silly out here. We know these kind of shoes cost a lot of money. Um, and even at retail, 190 pounds is an expensive shoe. Uh, but that being said, um, this shoe, like I've mentioned earlier, is a hype shoe and therefore would carry a lot of money um, on the secondary market. And I thought if I was to, uh, if you allow me to put that into perspective, the, um, the Yeezy 380s are 220 pounds odd. Um, these are about 30 pounds cheaper but these would be about double on the resale market and and them 380s they ain't doing that uh, quick joke what does a yeezy 380 and big pro z have in common we're both sitting we ain't going nowhere <laughs> change the price back to the five ultimately i couldn't really see myself rocking this shoe i couldn't really see myself popping bop into the shops or or going anywhere in this shoe it's probably a bit too much for me but that doesn't mean that the shoe's not dope because it actually is it's a completely dope shoe it's an awesome shoe and the attention to detail the intelligent design completely scream virgil abloh um and off-white um and i know I'm, I'm not gonna have any trouble finding a home for these bad boys if you've enjoyed this video why not smash the like button once again if you enjoy this kind of content hit the subscribe that notification bell and you'll be notified every single time i drop some heat now before i end this video i want to say a massive thank you to my, to those that have subscribed a lot of my current subscribers actually started subscribing before i had any videos on my channel which i completely appreciate i also appreciate those people that have actually joined since i've been uploading videos the more conventional subscribers but those early adopters you hold a really really special place in my heart right next to those university blues and um your support is truly truly appreciated it completely motivates me to keep on bringing out this content i've got some major plans for 2021 and for the end of 2020 because 2020 is not done once again you guys have been absolutely amazing uh, and until next time it's your boy prozac signing out stay blessed